Hello, um, today we are making a reusable hot pack. So the materials are white vinegar, baking soda, a measuring cup to measure um, the amount of liquid, a measuring cup to measure the amount of baking soda, and a resealable plastic bag. So to start, you pour the vinegar in the saucepan, in a saucepan, and slowly add one tablespoon of baking soda per cup of liquid, constantly stirring to prevent the mi mixture from bubbling over. Boil over medium heat until it loses half its original volume and a white crust begins to form around the edges. We're going to start making the liquid or the reusable hot pack. So we're going to pour this white vinegar into the cup and then we're going to do two cups of white vinegar and two cups of and two tablespoons of baking soda. So you're going to pour this in here and you don't want this getting into your eyes or nose so like wear protection. So we're going to do that and put it into the saucepan. So that's enough. So that's enough for right now. Then so now we're gonna pour the first cup into the saucepan. And so that's the first cup. Now second cup, we're gonna do the same thing. And then after we do that, we're going to put in the baking soda. And then after we stir it in, we're going to um, boil it in over medium heat. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, so let's just do this. Oh, this is both same. Okay. Okay, so that's around one cup, approximately. Number two. Now, um, for this, so we're going to pour one table, two tablespoons of baking soda. Okay, that seems like a bit less. This looks like one tablespoon. No, it looks. Okay, so now we pour this into here and we start storing. Okay. Second cup. So now we start boiling it until the liquid turns yellow. I think the stir is stopped. And wait. So I'm stirring 
stops completely. And then once we, and now we wait until the liquid turns yellow and there's a white crust around the edges. We will get back to you when we, when it turns yellow. the sodium acetate hot pack and um right now it's kind of dark yellowish color and this is right after we took it and it's right now at about 73 degrees exactly 72.9 so now if this is because it's still now if we shook it and if we add the crystals it will crystallize and heat up okay so when we add the crystals when we add the crystals, the temperatures, the temperature is solidified. Instead of going up, after it's cool. solidified, cool. it takes an ice-like pattern into streaks that look like claws. And it gets hotter. And it's heating up gradually. It's uh, It was at 70, now it's at 98, 95, 100. And it keeps going up. Yeah, and it keeps increasing. And it actually oh, stops right hot. Up, so it doesn't get too hot. Well, that's good. That actually is different. It feels hot. It definitely feels hot. It is a hot pack. Whoa. What's so, this stuff under So here? it works. It works, and it's right now at about 100 degrees. And this is how it actually works. So we had these crystals, which are baking soda. These baking soda crystals. And we add them into this, and then it, it, it will... um. Heat up, heat up, and mm -hmm. crystallize into heat pack. So then, if you wish to reset it, you take this solid and you put it into a microwave or you put it in boiling water, and it will return into a liquid and super saturate. And then you can cool it down by natural processes, or you can put it in the ice to accelerate the process. And then, if you wish to reactivate, you just put the crystal, put more crystals in, and it'll solidify again. Thank you for watching. I'm Bowen. And I'm Pranav. <laughs> so we took the hot pack and we used it. So now we're going to reuse it because we're showing that it is a reusable hot pack. So we reset it and we boiled it and did a hot, we microwaved it. And we put it in ice to cool it down as you see here. So we put it in there. And now we're going to reuse it by putting another crystal here. That's shown here. Into the hot, into the sodium acetate. So measure the hot temperature. You move it down a tiny bit. Okay. So around seventy six, around seventy five. All right. So now we're gonna pour the crystal things in, and then it instantly creates ice spikes that spread out in a ripple pattern, and the temperature goes up dramatically. So, as you can see, everything just solidified, and it's actually going around the edges. Steam, I think. Or is it crystals? Pretty sure that's crystals, but it might be steam. So, to show you that this is fully hard, I'm going to poke. Yeah, see? It's fully hard. So, that is that shows that it's fully hard. So, um, it is a solid. The temperature keeps, it stays at around 130 to 129. And then it's been staying there for at least 30 seconds. So, maybe about good. a minute. Probably a minute. So, Why we're not? going to keep checking around every 10 seconds to see how long it will actually remain above body temperature. And when you hit it, it definitely does make that sound. That's how you know it's solid. Temperature still casually staying at around 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to check in a couple of minutes to see if if the temperature has dropped in that time frame or time period. So it's been around three minutes and the temperature still stays relatively high at around 126 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So that means that it might stay for a pretty long time. So now on to the science part of it. We predicted that it lost around it lost around three degrees and no four, four degrees in the three minutes. So therefore that we can predict that once you put the crystal in, it, the hot pack will remain at at above at least or above equal to or above body temperature for at least f fifteen minutes. And it's still solid too. And it will remain solid until you reset it by putting it in boiling water, even after the temperature dies out. So then you have to reset it by putting it in boiling water and resetting it to a liquid state. And then then you take the crystals and putting it in, no, no, and then no, you no, put you it into, it. then you have to cool it down, and then you put crystals in to reactivate. So we have proven that the hot pack has worked and we have shown you that this is our sodium acetate hot pack. And that it is reusable. And can act can maintain up to body heat or above at least 130 degrees for at least um, 10 minutes and at most probably 15. I'm done saying goodbye. I'm saying bye too. And I've been off.